experts say parents need to be role models when they're trying to establish eating habits for their children. Our next guest says preparing quick and healthy meals and snacks can actually be easy. Shannon Pepper is here with her son, Pierce. Nice to have you guys here. Thank you so much. So first, let's talk about your flashcards here because these are easy. It gives a lot of ideas for parents, especially with school now starting. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's A through Z and it really gives parents over a hundred simple recipe ideas, food ideas even. And food in a flash. That is yep. so clever because they're Thank actually you. little flashcards. Absolutely, yep. They're little flashcards and you can take them to the grocery store. They can learn to identify what real food looks like, put it in the cart and go home and you can make these really simple, you know, one minute, two minute uh, mm -hmm. food ideas. Mm -hmm. Is that you, yeah. Pierce? Let's get started. Pierce, you help out a lot in the kitchen, don't you? Yep. What's your favorite meal to make? Um, pancakes. Oh, can't go wrong with pancakes. Good pancakes. Those so, are good. So yeah. what we have here today is, I just wanted to show parents, you know, with back to school, it's so crazy, mm -hmm. you know, no one really has any time. So I wanted to show them that it's really as easy as A, B, C, it's okay. elementary, okay. Um, on how to just make really fast, easy foods. And um, mm -hmm. so this is one of Pierce's favorites. Our A food is avocado. And then we'll soon talk about B for beets and C for chickpeas. Okay. But so all you do with, um, with an avocado, just cut it in half and then you can cut it in a quarter and then you just cut it into little slices like this and then Pierce can show how easy it is just to flip, um, but you can use any, you know, you can use any kind of rice cake. Oh, and use your fingers, get yeah, all in there, get that's it fun. In there. <laughs> if you get the kid involved, it, it's great. And avocados, Dr. Sears had said it's his favorite fruit, believe uh -huh. it or not, this is a fruit, because sure. it has, it's full of vitamins and um, all kinds of really, really good fat that for developing brains and everybody. So a little avocado sandwich. A little avocado that's sandwich, it's great, yeah. So I guess the thought process here is if you're starting them early enough, they're not mm -hmm. going to know the difference. No one's going to really want a cookie if you serve them avocados or beets, right? That's right. It makes no difference, and it, it saves a lot of aggravation later. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move on, and um, this is the avocado was one of Pierce's favorite snacks. And right now we're going to do beet chips okay. for letter B, and Pierce will show how to how quick and easy this is. So go ahead, Pierce. So you just need a food processor with a slicing blade, okay. and go ahead and this is a golden beet, which is a little bit what, a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. Then, then the beet. So that's all oh, you that do to make easy. chips, right? How easy is that? So Pierce is six years old, and I mean he can do this and help in the kitchen. And it's okay to Done. keep the skin on them. A little yes, bit. and that's why this is so easy. You just trim off the, you know, the leaves and the base just a little bit, and that's it. And then what we have here, um, we'll just take this off real quick. Okay. And here, let me pop this. Now, is this something you have to bake? You've the oven preheated. Yeah. So you just do 375, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to put these on the tray. And I'm going to show you my quick little trick here for tossing <laughs> kitchen gloves. Oh, that's good. <laughs> right? It works. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do both hands here. Yeah. And all you do, and these recipes will be on your website. Great. But all we do is toss these beets, these beautiful <laughs> beets, with some little bit of sea salt. All right. And a little bit of olive oil. And your child can help just kind of <laughs> toss it. That's there you it. go. You a just, healthy snack. Healthy snack. You just roll it out and you just spread it out in one layer and bake it on 375 mm -hmm. for like 30 minutes. Oh, that's easy. Okay. That's it. Done. And they turn out like this. Mom. Are you connected? <laughs> <laughs> so that's... It's important yeah. to get the kids involved also, right? Because yes. they might be more likely to, to enjoy it if they made it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And beets are so healthy and so good. And our last one is letter C for chickpeas. Okay. So Pierce will show demo slide how to do that. Pierce. This is like slide <laughs> on down. And um, just go ahead, Pierce, dump those on there. And these are full of fiber. The amount of fiber in chickpeas is ridiculous. And like everybody should be eating these. Yeah. Um, okay. And this, again, is such an easy way to prepare them. So I'll do a little bit of olive oil, a little sea salt, and you could sweeten them up with some honey or maple syrup, but actually Pierce prefers smoked paprika. Oh, well, so Pierce. So you can do, wonderful. yeah, and he can just toss those. And it's the same thing. You can make a big tray of these. These are great um, for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, like the whole family can eat these. And you can pack them in a, a lunch. You can, again, for after school. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you just roast these as well. So you could roast the beets, roast the chickpeas. Sounds delicious. Yeah, and they're Let's so good. Shot. And these are, that's them done. Very good. So what other recipes do we have on the flashcards here? Uh, we have so many recipe ideas. Like Pierce was talking about pancakes. Mm -hmm. So we have pumpkin pancakes in there. We have roasted onions. We have quiche. I mean, all kinds, zucchini Great. fries. I love it. Yeah. So Pierce, you're heading back to school this week. Tell me the highlight of your summer vacation. What was your favorite thing? 
Uh, going to Hershey Park. Oh, that's fun. Did you go on the roller coasters? Yep. You did. That's a great summer trip. Yeah, he did. Right. Faster. Love those roller coasters. Yeah. All right. Uh, you have yeah. some upcoming classes, correct? Yeah. We're um, Stu Leonard's is hosting classes based on the flashcards. They're cooking through the alphabet with them, and the next one is coming up in, I believe, it's September 13th. Oh, good. So they're actually doing back-to-back -back two classes based on them. So and you, you mentioned yep. bottler bites uh, earlier in our little segment. What exactly is a bottler bite? So bottler is really a, a just a word that I made up. <laughs> it combines baby to toddler, and it really describes the age where parents really need to hone in mm -hmm. on introducing all these real foods to their kids because children were meant to eat them, and that's sure. pretty much the the stage when parents fall like into that prepackaged kid food trap. Oh, I understand. Okay. Right after babyhood, you know, so pretty much age two to five. Like oh, you got it. Great. You gotta Thank you them. for all of the ideas. Good luck in school this year. Have fun. Okay. And we're going to have all these Thank recipes you. over on WTNH.com. We're going to taste some of this at the end also. But coming up next, we'll tell you all about a great event that's raising money for children who lost their hair with cancer. We'll explain after the break.